Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on cyanosis. Cyanosis is a medical condition characterized by a bluish discoloration of the skin, lips, and nail beds. This occurs when there is a reduced amount of oxygen in the blood, leading to an increased concentration of deoxygenated hemoglobin. There are two main types of cyanosis, which are central and peripheral cyanosis. First, for central cyanosis, it is the blue or purple discoloration of the tongue, lips, and mucous membranes. Central cyanosis can be caused by cardiac causes, such as congenital heart disease, which include the 5T and 2E. They are transposition of the great arteries, tetralogy of Fallot, tricuspid atresia, truncus arteriosus, total anomalous pulmonary venous return, Epstein's anomaly, and Eisenmenger physiology. Heart failure is also one of the causes. Whereas respiratory causes include ventilation perfusion mismatch, and hypoventilation. Other less common causes include hematological causes, like methemoglobinemia, and sulfhemoglobinemia. And respiratory causes like pulmonary venous fistula, and intrapulmonary shunts. In central cyanosis, the key point is that deoxygenated blood is leaving the heart. That is, deoxygenated blood is present in the arterial circulation even before it reaches the periphery. This is due to low oxygen saturation or abnormal hemoglobin. In cardiac causes of central cyanosis, the main issue is the mixing or shunting of venous blood into arterial blood, leading to decreased oxygen saturation. In many of the congenital heart defects, there is a physical deformity or connection, allowing mixing of the venous and arterial blood. For example, in Tetralogy of Fallot, the ventricular septal defect results in mixing across the ventricles. This means the blood leaving the left side of the heart already has a lower than normal oxygen saturation. In respiratory causes, a VQ mismatch or shunting of blood through the lungs, without adequate oxygenation, will increase the quantity of deoxygenated hemoglobin that passes out of the lungs, leading to reduced oxygen saturation. For hematological causes, methemoglobinemia is a disorder whereby the normal ferrous hemoglobin is replaced by methemoglobin. Methemoglobin is formed by the oxidation of ferrous to ferric hemoglobin, and is incapable of oxygen transport. The oxygen dissociation curve is shifted leftward, reducing oxygen delivery, and leading to tissue hypoxia. This can be a primary hereditary cause, or more commonly, an acquired condition. Several chemicals or drugs may precipitate the oxidation. Once methemoglobin is present in sufficient quantities, oxygen cannot be released at the peripheries. Tissue hypoxia may occur along with increased levels of deoxygenated hemoglobin, and thus cyanosis may be present. A methemoglobin level of 1.5 grams per deciliter, or 15% of total hemoglobin can produce cyanosis. Next, we will look at peripheral cyanosis, which is blue and purple discoloration of the extremities, often in the fingers. Peripheral cyanosis is commonly associated with cold exposure, decreased cardiac output, such as in congestive heart failure, and Raynaud's phenomenon. Another less common cause is arterial and venous obstruction. For its mechanism, peripheral cyanosis is caused by the slowing of blood flow and increased oxygen extraction in the extremities. When human bodies are exposed to cold, peripheral vasoconstriction occurs to maintain warmth. This leads to reduced blood flow to the periphery, and effectively more time for oxygen to be taken out of the blood. Hence more deoxygenated blood is present. Similarly in CHF, decreased cardiac output leads to vasoconstriction, to maintain blood pressure and venous return, which decreases blood flow to peripheral areas. That's all for this video. Thank you.